I would like to welcome you all in the lecture series of Power Electronics. In this video, I'll be discussing most important questions from Module 2. Module 2 is mainly including Power MOSFET and uh, Power power BJD. Okay, power. it's mainly talking about the characteristics, the design of power electronic switches, especially power transistors, especially power MOSFET and power BJD. Even uh, you'll be able to understand the gate driver circuits. Or what are the different type of gate driver circuits which are applicable for both IGBT, then MOSFET, uh, and power BJT. So let's have a brief discussion. So whenever you are reading the module two, you need to focus the following questions. Compare power MOSFET and power BJT. You know that power MOSFET is a voltage control device. Power BJT is generally known as current control device. And the turning on method is different. Okay. And applications also major, uh, like there are difference in the applications. Switching losses of power BJT is higher than power MOSFET. Likewise, there are so many differences. Okay. Uh, similarly, power loss that is higher for power BJT compared to power MOSFET. So, likewise, you can mention explain the MOSFET gate driver circuit. Why gate driver is required? Okay. Without gate driver, we cannot turn on the MOSFET. Then prepare the list of gate driver ICs available in the market. Okay. For example, MOSFET IT. Uh, you can note down that IR1110. IR1110. Then IR1111. IR, uh, then optocoupler ICs, like that, so many ICs have been. And you can refer, then explain the steady state characteristics and the switching characteristics of power mode. 5-5. 5 marks five. Five for steady state characteristics. Okay. So another 5 marks for the switching characteristics. So in the switching characteristics, you need to mention about different type of losses. Okay. In the steady state characteristics, you have to mention about input and output characteristics. Very clearly. So ID versus VDS. Okay. If, I, if it is a IGBT, it is then it is different. If it is MOSFET, then terminals will be different. That you, you have to be very much careful. Here. So these are the uh, few questions. So whenever you are drawing the characteristics, try to mention the axis clearly. And the characteristics also should be very much proper. And what should be the inference? And uh, in the steady state characteristics, you can calculate the, the dynamic resistance, transconduction, etc. So next one is. Explain the construction working of power BJT. So you have to mention the construction detail means figure is required. Five marks for figure, uh, another three marks for the explanation. So total eight marks. Test the structure of P-channel enhancement MOSFET and explain the working principle. How does MOSFET operate? P-channel uh, enhancement MOSFET. There are two types of MOSFET. One is P-channel, other one is N-channel. Here they asked about you P-channel en enhancement MOSFET. Direction should be very much careful. Question number uh, like uh, third third part 60, uh, explain the commonly used technique for optimizing the base fiber of uh, transistor. So you have to talk about the like uh, the various optimization technique for base fiber of transistor. Okay. So pulse transformer, you might have heard about pulse transformer, how the optimization will be done for designing the, um, the base driver for the transistor. So yeah. Yeah. These are the few questions. Explain the steady state characteristics of power MOSFET. Okay, which uh, which has the weightage of six marks. Three diagram for the graph, another three diagram for the explanation. Explain the switching characteristics of power BJT. Okay, clear switching. You are expected to draw the clear, clear clear switching diagram. Four diagrams will be there that you have to mention clear, carefully. Write a short note on pulse transformer. What is the construction of pulse transformer? How does pulse transformer operate? Basic diagram. I have done all the videos. I'll be sharing the link for you for your betterment. Even optocoupler ICs. Why optocoupler ICs are required? How does it work? Okay, how it will act as a gate driver? What is the significance of uh, optocoupler in uh, power transistor? So that is the significance of this particular question. So another important question is explain the construction working of power MOSFET. Then describe the switching limits of power BJT. So you have to mention about the switching limit. You have to talk about the like uh, uh, how BJT is known as current control device and what is the frequency limits. Everything should be BJT is not suitable for high frequency application. Similarly, there is a numerical example. So I have solved already. I'll share the link of this particular numerical example. I have seen this question, uh, this particular question, question number zero for C. Uh, it is repeated for uh, three to four years. So kindly go through that. I'll give the solution. Okay, I can give the solution. Kindly try once from your side. If you are not getting, uh, anyway, I already prepared the video of this. If you want, I will share with this particular video in the, into the, in the description box. Kindly go through that. First of all, I request you to go through uh, go through the I button and the description box for the previous previous videos, so that you will be getting a better idea about uh, this topic. If you need a notes, you can send me a personal request. I will send the notes. No issue. 
so thank you very much for watching this video all the very best for your examination uh, prepare very well for this and uh, try to add that more diagrams more equations more explanations thank you for watching once again